Watch how fast this AI can write a fake article from a fake newspaper with a fake reporter. Amazing, but kind of scary too. This new technology is called ChatGPT, and it's a pretty impressive tool developed by OpenAI. It can generate thousands of words in minutes about, well, nonsense that sounds extremely legit. This type of AI is really, really, really good at spitting out what we call plausible BS. And that's not good if, like us, you're in the business of truth. So time to find out, is this legit? Hi everyone, it's me, Ian, and welcome back to another episode of Is This Legit? A series brought to you by MediaWise and PBS Student Reporting Labs, where we fact check viral misinformation and teach you ways that you can do it on your own. ChatGPT came out in late November and quickly became a viral sensation. It already has more than a million users. Here's how it works. ChatGPT is fed millions of pieces of writing from the internet, including Wikipedia and Reddit pages. And as a result, it can give you some pretty convincing responses to any questions or prompts you throw its way. It uses complex math to figure out what to say next. Specifically, a special calculation to pick its next word based on all of the words that have already been generated online until 2021. This helps it make its responses sound more like a human's. Its ability to answer questions or prompts quickly in writing is astonishing. And for us, of course, raises the question of how it might be used to spread misinformation in the coming years. The answer is slightly frightening. Currently, it is completely free to use, and so it's super easy for bad actors to create disinformation, as opposed to Russian troll farms, which spent more than a million dollars a month to attempt to disrupt the 2016 US presidential election. Another problem is that ChatGPT doesn't provide any sources for the information it puts out at all, ever. A clear red flag. I decided to ask it why it doesn't cite sources, and it said, quote, I am a machine learning model that was last trained on new data in 2021. I don't have the ability to provide sources as I don't have access to the internet. My knowledge is based on the data that was used to train me. So the potential for misinformation is huge. In one case, Georgetown researchers used ChatGPT to create disinformation in the form of tweets about climate change and foreign affairs. And as the article says, quote, people found the post persuasive. Another group of researchers asked ChatGPT to write about vaccines in the style of disinformation. The system made false claims that a study, which did not even exist, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, found the COVID-19 vaccine is effective in only 2% of people. Both the journal reference and the statistics were completely false. That's scary. ChatGPT has a counterpart, also created by OpenAI, called Dolly2. Dolly has been fine-tuned so that it'll generate pictures from text descriptions. So if ChatGPT and Dolly work together, they could generate misinformation that looks scarily accurate. But who better to answer how to detect AI on the internet than ChatGPT itself? I gave it this prompt. Produce several media literacy tips designed to help people figure out if social media content was generated by artificial information. And it spit out this wise advice. Check for patterns and inconsistencies. AI-generated content may have patterns or inconsistencies that indicate it was generated by a machine, such as repeating the same phrase multiple times or using the same structure repeatedly. Look for signs of error. AI-generated content may contain errors or inconsistencies that would not be present in human-generated content, such as awkward phrasing or lack of context. And check the context. AI-generated content may be out of context or not make sense in the context of the conversation. And then it gave this scary warning. It's important to note that AI-generated content is becoming increasingly sophisticated and may not always be easy to detect. For a note, when you sign on to ChatGPT for the first time, it even gives you this warning. Some recent developments show promise in detecting AI-generated text. First, its creator OpenAI is working on a way to watermark AI-generated content. This would work by hiding a special sequence of letters spread throughout the text. Even if a few are edited, it could be flagged as AI generated. At the same time, a Princeton student developed an algorithm to detect the complexity of a text and then determine if it was created by AI. Human written texts tend to be more unpredictable than AI produced work. 
making it simple to differentiate bot from man. And OpenAI itself has developed a tool called the AI Text Classifier, similar to plagiarism checkers that teachers often use to help educators figure out whether a text was AI generated. So be aware if you use this for your next big essay. ChatGPT is a powerful AI technology that has the potential to spread misinformation and create confusion in society. Bottom line, it's important to recognize its limitations. And if you're trying to figure out if something you're reading could be AI generated, that article about Beyonce and the camel, for example, the best tip is to ask yourself these three questions. Who is behind the information? What is the evidence? And do some lateral reading. That means open up a bunch of tabs on your computer and find out what other credible sources are saying. So let's fight back with our brains. It's crucial now more than ever to sharpen our critical thinking skills while online to be able to identify signs of AI generated content. Or else. <laughs> anyway, subscribe to MediaWise for more fact checks and tips. Bye guys. Don't compromise,